It's actually an amazing time of the year to be a gardener now in January, February, March, early in the season. I have made lots and lots of sowings, of course, and I enjoy to see the tiny little plants and also the bigger ones that I sowed already in December and January. I got a question a while ago about seeds and how to sow the tiny seeds in the best way. So today I wanted to talk a bit about the tiny seeds and how to sow them. If you have sown seeds before, you may know that there are big seeds and there are small seeds and the variation is very big. I brought with me today the long bean, um, asparagus bean we say in Sweden, with the um, very visible seeds, dried beans. Among the flower seeds we find the sweet peas, also quite big seeds, very easy to handle. Of course we have even bigger seeds like the broad beans, the fava beans, etc. But some of the seeds that we like to sow for our gardens are very very small and they require some planning when to sow and I would like to give you five tips on how to do it to succeed with your sowings of tiny seeds. My first tip or advice is to use a mix of compost made for sowings, not a potting mix or planting mix. And this is because the structure is more light in this kind of mix and that is better for the tiny seeds. And I will try to explain this. In a potting mix, you see, uh, this structure is... Um, well, you will find the bigger pieces in this kind of soil, the planting or potting mix. And if you put the tiny seeds on top of this, the risk is bigger that the seeds will be destroyed if they are dried. It's, well, simple as that. And I prefer to use a tray that is not that you know high. So it's kind of a low tray for this kind of sowings. And I have put planting soil just a few centimeters in the bottom and I will now put my compost for sowings on top of this. In this way now I have the light compost for sowing on top and I have the more um, rich soil underneath so when the roots develop they will finally reach to the more rich soil and get the best from both uh, layers, one can say. In this um, pot I'm going to sow the amaranth, hot hibiscus, and the seeds are very good because they are bright and you will see them when I sprinkle them over the surface. And my second tip is to sow not too thick. I mean, the, the seeds are developing each and every one into a quite big plant. So it is good to separate the seeds as good as you can, but still fit in quite many in this pot. Let's give it a try. There are different ways to, I mean, physically sprinkle the seeds on top of the surface. And some prefer to mix the seeds with a little sand and to ease the way to, to sprinkle the seeds. But I prefer to use the thumb and my finger and simply pick up the seeds and then sprinkle them over the surface very carefully like this. The fourth tip is to very carefully press the seeds against the soil, the compost, so that they are in contact with the soil, not only lying on top of it, if you understand me. We do not want any like pockets of air underneath the seeds. They have to stay on top of the soil. And this is, of course, to make them germinate in a better way later on. So. It's very easy here because the seeds are uh, light, <laughs> but if you have the dark seeds, you have to press carefully all over the surface. 
And now here I have my sewings of um, amaranth and I am so excited to see this germinate. And to finish this up now, what to do next? Of course, you need to water. And what I used to do when especially I make sowings with the tiny seeds is not to water on top because it will make the seeds, you know, float away and uh, destroy the surface of the, the compost. So I prefer to put this tray in another tray with water and then the soil will soak up water from underneath, from the holes in the bottom and simply water this tray from underneath. So I put it in water for just a short while and when I see the surface is wet, I lift it up again. While this is watering now, I have another, let's say a bonus tip. <laughs> and that goes for almost any kind of sowings that you are doing for your garden, but especially important to think about when it comes to the tiny seeds. The seeds lay on the surface of the soil and if it gets too dry, the seeds and the germination might be disturbed. And if the seeds or the plant uh, are sending out, you know, a little root and it's too much air and dry soil around and underneath, the risk is very big or high that the seed will be destroyed. So you have to keep the soil moist all the time while the seed germinates. The easiest way to do that is simply to cover this tray with a plastic of some kind. I use like a, a film, a plastic film, or you can use uh, some kind of um, almost like a mini greenhouse uh, with a plastic lid on top. And that will prevent the soil from getting too dry. So try to keep that in mind. <laughs> 